Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Enjoy English. I'm Alice. Hi, I'm Bernice. And today we have a special lesson on health and the risks of seeing art up close.、Mm. So, is the great art of Florence dangerous to your health? Huh? Really <laughs> dangerous to my health? It's just an art. Why it is so dangerous to my health? I don't understand. Yeah, it seems strange, especially seeing art up close. That means you're just like very, very close to the、mm. art, right? Like physically close. Why would that be dangerous? Yeah, I just want to see something <laughs> very close. So, okay, let's see how dangerous it is. All right, we'll take a break and then start. Okay. Okay, let's get started. So we have. Stendhal syndrome is named after the French author Marie Henry Bell's pen name Stendhal. So here, a pen name is not their real name; it's a name they go by. Okay, so let's talk about syndrome. What is a syndrome? Syndrome usually will be a group of signs, and it usually happens together. And、uh, has something to do with a particular disease or disorder. So we say syndrome. Be named after, which means this name, Stendhal, follows a person's name. So the person is a French author, and he used his pen name. So the pen name is Stendhal. In 1817. Bell wrote how his heart raced,、mm. and he felt scared when he saw all the great art in Florence, Italy. So, if your heart races, that means it's beating really fast.、Mm. It's really, really beating really fast. It's racing. Okay, so this is a syndrome. Okay, when your heart go fast, goes fast. Okay, boom, 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 like this way, and the person he felt scared, he felt frightened. F R I G H T E N E D. Okay, especially when he saw all the great, very famous, very important art in Florence, Italy. But the place is not so important. The important thing is when he saw all the great art in the place. Then he felt his heart raised and he felt scared. So it's a kind of syndrome. Florence has been famous for the arts since the Middle Ages. So the Middle Ages is a long, long time ago.、Mm. It's a period of time, right, where they didn't have much technology, and they had they went through like a whole. It's mainly usually talking about Europe, although of course it applies to the whole world. But Florence, Italy, is of course in Europe. So the Middle Ages. Long, long ancient history. Yeah, that's right. And you can see Florence has been famous. That is because there's a word since. It's a conjunction. When you see since inside of a sentence, and we usually use present perfect tense. Has, have plus v p p. Okay. So Florence has been famous. Okay, which means from the past. Until now, has been very famous for what? For the art since the Middle Ages. So the Middle Ages, yeah, it is a period of European history. So long, long time ago. The wealthy Medici family funded many arts, and the Renaissance was centered around the city. So wealthy means that you have a lot of money, right? And、mm. if they funded many arts, that means they gave money to these arts to support the arts, right?、Mm. To make it happen.、Mm-hmm. So the family must be very, very rich because、uh, they funded, it, which means they provided a lot of money, okay, to many arts. And at that time, okay. Uh, the Renaissance was centered around the city, which means it's a kind of、uh, period talking about the art. Okay, so the、uh, at that place or at that period of time,、uh, the Renaissance was centered around the city, which means the city is the center at that time. But today. Five hundred year old art can cause panic attacks for a few visitors every year. 
So panic attacks are a little difficult to explain because they're different for everyone. But basically, it means that when you start to feel like a lot of symptoms, like when you're panicking, you're overwhelmed. Everyone's different. Some people feel like their heart beats really fast. They feel dizzy.、Uh, it can be very scary. Oh, okay. So, but today, but right now, five hundred year old. Okay, you can see the word. It is a compound adjective. So we use five year, no s. Okay, five hundred year old art to describe the art can cause cause, which means lead to l e a d to panic attacks. Okay, for a few visitors, just for a few, a few, which means some, also means which、uh, some of the visitors they don't、uh, lead to, they don't encounter this kind of syndrome every year.、Mm. All right, let's move on to the next paragraph. Okay. So, people with Stendhal syndrome were said to suffer from dizziness, heart palpitations, and hallucinations. So, hallucinations, kind of a big word there, basically means that you see things that don't exist. You see things that are not there. Okay. So, in this sentence, we can see were said to. Okay. When we use be said to, which means.、Uh, Plus a、uh, verb root, which means right now, or you can say the future. For example, you can say, "Oh, Bernice is said to be a beauty." Okay, actually, I am. Ah,、uh, no, no, no. I sorry. Okay, so when we use be said to, which means people said that. Okay, so people with Stendhal syndrome, they said that they suffer from dizziness, which means oh. Uh, everything is turning around right now, okay. And my heart beats so quickly, and I can see something, but something doesn't exist at all, okay. So these are the syndromes. They would often fall ill due to witnessing the art in person. So if you fall ill, it's similar to becoming sick, right? And witnessing is basically the same thing as seeing. So if you saw something or you witnessed something, it's the same meaning. Yeah. So in this sentence, fall ill, which means you become sick, due to because of. So usually when we use due to or we use because of, you have to plus. I N G behind the verb. So the verb is witness, which means see. So seeing or witnessing something in person, which means when you actually are there. However, some cases later turned out to be unrelated. So you see that prefix "un," right? That means it's not related, right? Not it's not relevant to these cases. Mm-hmm. Which means later, which means after a while, turn out to be unrelated. Which means they have nothing to do with each other. Okay, so we'll say okay. Some cases, ah,、uh, they don't really happen when they see something, see the art in person. Some of them are not related. In two thousand and eighteen, a man had a heart attack. While looking at a piece by Botticelli, so a heart attack、uh, is kind of scary. It's when your heart stops, right? It stops beating, and that's dangerous because we cannot live if our hearts do not beat. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is one of the examples. In 2018, a man had a heart attack, especially when he、uh, was looking at piece. Okay, when he Was standing there and looking at a piece. Then suddenly he felt a heart attack. The case was initially considered an example of Stendhal syndrome, but was later proven an unlucky heart attack. So initially means like at first, right?、Mm-hmm. In the first place, like it was considered an example of it, but not later. 
Okay, so we can say be considered, or we can say be seen as, s e e n s, or we can say be viewed as, v i e w e d as something. As what? An example of Stendhal syndrome, but was later proven, which means okay, it is not because of the Stendhal syndrome. It's just an unlucky case. It's just an unlucky example. Being in a place surrounded by visitors might have saved the man's life. So, if you're surrounded by visitors, it means that they're all around you. They're around you in every direction. Okay. So, in this sentence, being in a place surrounded by visitors—that is the subject. And your verb will be might have saved. So when we use might have plus VPP, which means something should happen in the past, but in fact it didn't. For example, let me give you an example sentence: I might have missed the bus this morning, but actually I didn't. So when we when we use might have plus VPP. Which means something should happen in the past, but in fact it didn't. Others noticed him, and he quickly got medical attention. So medical attention is often、uh, the same thing as medical help, right? Or medical assistance. It's just another way of saying it. Okay, so others, maybe other visitors, were there. Okay, and they saw the person, and the person quickly got medical attention. So maybe somebody called nine one one for him. What exactly causes this sickness is unknown, but maybe it has to do with travel. So if something has to do with something. It means it's kind of related to it, right? It's connected to it. Okay. When we use what, this word means the thing which or something which. Okay. So the thing which exactly causes this sickness is unknown, which means nobody know what happened or what's the reason caused this uh this kind of sickness. But maybe okay, so people may guess. Maybe it, which means it means the sickness. Maybe the sickness has to do with when we use has to do with or have to do with, which means there's connection. Okay, so is connected with travel. So maybe because of the person who got. This kind of sickness, maybe he traveled for a long time, so caused this kind of syndrome happen. Both Paris and Jerusalem have reported similar illnesses among tourists,、mm. and Paris and Jerusalem are both huge cities, very major cities in the world, and so they do get a lot of tourists coming in every year, right, to visit famous sites. So that would make sense, right, if they have many, many visitors. Come visit like from other countries coming to visit Paris and Jerusalem.、Uh, it would make sense that maybe some of them might have this syndrome. Yeah, that's true. So when we when we use half reported, which means people said that there have been okay, there have been similar illnesses among tourists. When we use among, usually that would be in a group of people. When we use two person, okay, then we use between. And if there are a lot of people, we say among tourists, because the the these are the two very big cities. So there will be a lot of tourists coming to the city to、uh, pay a visit. So among these tourists, a lot of people said、uh, there have been similar illnesses happen. It's kind of strange. I kind of wonder why. These people they feel these symptoms like a heart attack or anything like that when they look at the art. I、mm. wonder it still didn't really explain why they are. Maybe they just think it's so amazing and they're shocked. I'm yeah, not、maybe. sure. Yeah, maybe just like when we see、uh, a person who is 
very handsome or very beautiful, we feel wow. Why he he is so handsome? Why she is so beautiful? And maybe we feel dizzy, and we feel we don't know what to do. Okay, something like that. So it's a kind of syndrome. So <laughs> this kind of syndrome happens all the time, every day, maybe in our life.、Mm-hmm. But it's just that it was categorized right as a had got a name and everything because of the initial French author we talked about, right, Marie Henry. Uh, because of them, they got a name for this syndrome specifically、uh, when they like specifically categorizing it as something a little different than just like a normal panic attack or a normal、uh, illness. So I still think it's kind of yeah, it's very unusual. I don't know if there's a cure for this, or a, <laughs> I don't know either, <laughs> or some sort of way to help these people, like to make it better. I don't know what would help them. Yeah, for example, when you see some someone who is very handsome and you need the medical care, okay, you need to call nine one one and say, "Hey, Bernie's fainted. Someone come here to help her." Okay, it's a very serious disease. If you really Really、happens to me, and there's also one thing I want to talk about. There's a phrase we say "turn out to be." When we use "turn out to be," which means usually means the result will be unexpected. For example, there's an example sentence: Bernice turned out to be a kind teacher, which means you thought Bernice was not very kind, but when you are in her class, oh. Finally, I know that Bernice is a very kind teacher. So we use "turn out to be" usually talk about the result will be unexpected.、Mm, that's、mm. right. It's like you didn't think that she would be kind, but、yeah. actually, once you get to know her, she's just a soft teddy bear. Yes, that's true. <laughs> totally true. I agree. <laughs> Everyone should take Bernice's classes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Almost every day. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on to our vocabulary.、Uh, All right. Our reviewing. So, first word we have is race.、Mm. So this is、uh, the verb form, not because it can also be a noun, but we want the verb form of race. Yeah, if you you、uh, if we use race as a noun, usually we talk about a competition. Yeah. All right, and then we have the second word, wealthy. So this is wealthy person, right? And I think in the in our article we had the wealthy Medici family, right? So lots of money. Basically, you you have a lot of money. That's true. So wealthy adjective means rich, very rich. And we have fund. Again, fund can also be a noun, but in this case we used it as a verb, right? So you funded something. Yeah, so you fund something, which means you provide. It usually will be money to some place.、Mm-hmm. And fall ill again. That's same as kind of becoming sick, right? Yes, that's true. Become sick. And witness again. Witness can also be a noun, like a person can be a witness,、mm. but also we can use it as a verb where we witness something. Yeah, where、well, we witness something, which means where you see something. And a heart attack, right? We talked about、uh, having a man had a heart attack.、Uh, it can be fatal, but if you get medical care in time, then luckily you can be saved. So you have to be careful. Not just、uh, elderly people they have a heart attack. Sometimes young people they also have a heart attack. Mm-hmm, right, it's pretty scary when your heart stops. Yes,、yeah. that's true. All right, initially, so it means kind of like at first, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, at the beginning, B E G I N N I N G. Mm-hmm. And then have to do with, or I think、uh, has to do with, different form, right? But just connected to, related to. Yeah, when we say something has to do with. Then usually we talk about something is connected with the other things, and that's our lesson for today. So、yep. we'll see you all next time. Okay, bye. Bye bye.